Anybody can become a physician, but why is it so difficult to get to that point? That's what we're gonna be covering in today's video, so I hope you guys enjoy. Now this all stems back to the beginning. So getting into medical school is what is ultimately causing a shortage of physicians. And so you have to ask yourself, why is it so difficult to get from pre-med to medical school? What is standing in the way of pre-med students getting into medical school? And honestly, in my opinion, I think it is standardized tests. And so if you're new to my channel, my name is Michael. I'm a second year medical student and I basically overcame the odds of getting into medical school when everything was against me. So I had a low GPA. I had a really low MCAT score and I had already applied one cycle to probably over 40 schools and I was starting to apply my second cycle to pretty much 30 to 40 additional schools. My extracurricular activities were really good. Um, I actually got feedback from some medical schools saying my extracurriculars were far superior from what they were seeing from other students, but my MCAT and my GPA were just not what they were looking for in a medical student. Which brings me back to the beginning. Why is it so difficult to get into medical school even when we have such a shortage of physicians and healthcare workers are being overworked and short-staffed, but they make it so impossible for a pre-med student to get into medical school because of something called the MCAT. And you guys are all very familiar with what the MCAT is and it's this huge brick wall standing between you and your dream of becoming a doctor. Now I wish I could tell you guys there's a very easy way of bypassing the MCAT, there's an easy way of getting into medical school, but there really is no easy way of getting around this huge hurdle of the MCAT and standardized tests. And it doesn't just stop with the MCAT, but it does start with the MCAT. And that's where a lot of students struggle and ultimately cannot get into medical school because of the MCAT. Now, once you're in medical school, I feel like at that point you can say you've made it because the amount of students that start medical school and ultimately go on to become board certified physicians is a huge number of students, probably in the 95% range. That's definitely not a statistic I've looked up, but that's probably pretty close. And once you're in medical school, I mean, the standardized tests just continue on from there. You have Comlex if you're at a DO school, you have Step 1 if you're at an MD school, um, and then if you are at a DO school, most of us are taking Comlex and Step 1. Um, so we have to take double the amount of tests as MD students. So it only becomes more difficult if you go the DO route. And if you guys haven't figured it out yet, education as a whole is a business. And it's not a very good business because what you gain from education is very little to what you have to put in, which is money. And education is extremely, extremely expensive. And if you guys watch pretty much any finance channel on YouTube, talk to anybody that knows a little bit about finance, the price of education has gone up substantially. And the average salary that someone makes does not equal that trend. And basically an easy way of thinking of this is if the price of tuition at any given school is broken down into miles per hour. So say the price of tuition is traveling at 100 miles an hour. Now the average salary that people are making you know, in the United States is traveling at 60 miles an hour. So it's never going to catch up. And so you're always gonna have student debt and what are you gonna actually gain from that student debt? And so it's very similar to medical school. Medical schools are extremely expensive, but what are you actually gaining from a medical education? Because when you talk to any physician, they're gonna tell you that everything that you're gonna to need to know as a doctor, you're gonna learn either during your clinical years as a medical student, so your third and fourth year, or ultimately as a resident. Um, and your residency is basically you being a specialist in whatever field of medicine you're in. And so that's a little bit off topic, but it's just another hurdle that people have to overcome that may keep them from going to medical school because it is too expensive, they can't afford it, and the thought of taking out hundreds of thousands of dollars in student loans 
simply just terrifies people and they choose to take another path instead of taking the path that they've always wanted to take, which is ultimately becoming a physician. But to be completely honest with you guys, it's true. Anybody can become a doctor. You don't have to be extremely intelligent. You don't have to be the top of your class. You don't have to do all of these hours of research. You don't have to major in a science. If you want to become a doctor, you basically have to just overcome the MCAT. You have to get decent grades, of course. But guys, those are all of the superficial things that keep a lot of people out of medical school. And so if I could give you guys any piece of advice, if you're just starting out you know, in undergrad and you're wanting to become a doctor, put all of your time and effort and energy into getting good grades and to just do well on the MCAT. Because if you guys can get over that hurdle, you've essentially made it, in my opinion. Once you get into medical school, it's not smooth sailing, but there's not gonna be a huge hurdle that's gonna keep you from becoming a doctor, especially with the majority of your board exams being pass fail now. So you're not having to work extra hard and stress yourselves out during medical school to perform extremely well on your board exams. So once you get into medical school, they're trying to make the process a little bit easier. I mean, you have to give them that. Making your board exams pass fail is a step in the right direction. Even though the majority of people are gonna pass and at that point there's really no way of differentiating one student from another, um, and that's something that we can talk about in another video. But after step one and Comlex one, I mean, there's no real hurdle like the MCAT that's gonna keep you from becoming a physician. And even though I hate how standardized exams have become such a huge part of getting into medical school, progressing through medical school, and the amount of money it takes to even take these exams, let alone prepare for them, it's super unfortunate, but it's kind of the cards we've been dealt at this time. And so there was an MCAT prep company that did reach out to me and they did offer anybody that watching this video, any of my subscribers, um, a pretty nice discount, 10% off their MCAT prep course. And this company is called Prep 101. It's a really good, reputable company. It's very very similar to Kaplan, Princeton Review, Altius. All of those companies generally do the same thing. Um, the only difference is the price of each company. And Prep 101 is probably one of the cheapest ones I've found that offers this amount of resources to you guys. So they offer like 15 practice exams. They have live professors that will teach you the material. They provide you with an MCAT prep mentor. So you're gonna have someone there motivating you throughout the entire process. And then they also have a lot of workshops that are gonna help you guys figure out how to attack the car section on the MCAT and much, much more. So they offer a lot of the same, if not more, of the things that Kaplan and Princeton Review and Altius all offer, but it's at a much cheaper price. And if you guys use the link in my discount code down below, like I said, you guys are gonna save $230 off of their course. And the thing that I really like about their pricing is it's one price. So originally their course costs $2,300 and it's a flat rate. There's no like, if you do it live or if you do it online or if you do it hybrid, it's just $2,300. They have live classes, they have recorded classes. It covers everything that you guys are gonna have access to. Unlike some of the other companies where you have to pay additional money if you wanna attend live lectures and things like that. So I think it's worth giving Prep 101 a look. I know it's on the pricier side, but that's why I tried to work out a decent discount with them. So you guys are gonna get 10% off. Honestly guys, an MCAT prep course isn't for everyone. So don't think that if you purchase this course, you're gonna do really well on the MCAT because it's still gonna take a lot of work on your part. And there's some really good ways of self-studying and there's other videos that I've made on how to properly self-study. But if you're someone that needs that additional motivation, you need those resources, you need um, a live professor teaching you things about the MCAT, then an MCAT prep course may be for you. So if an MCAT prep course is for you, definitely go check out Prep 101. 
Use our discount code if you decide to go with them. And at least that way, you guys are not only paying less than these other prep courses, but you're also saving a good chunk of money with the discount code. So it does suck that the MCAT and getting into medical school has become such a has become such a business, but the best thing that we can do right now is provide you guys with the most amount of savings and discounts as we can because obviously guys, the MCAT is not going to go away anytime soon. Um, so at least we can help you guys save a few bucks here and there. So here's the thing guys, anybody can become a doctor. You just have to get into medical school and I know that's the hardest part. So invest a lot of time and energy into doing well in your classes, doing well on the MCAT and make the process easier on yourself. Now, if you're struggling with your grades and your MCAT, reach out to me on Facebook. My Facebook page is Med School Mentor. It's where I do all of my pre-med advising. Um, we'll figure out another way for you guys to get into medical school if that's truly something that you guys want to pursue. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to my channel, share the video with your other pre-med friends, and I hope to see you guys in another video.